Salute, chat. Welcome to Straight Convo. Uh, it's your boy, Barry the Prince. So listen, uh, I'm going to make it short. Uh, I'm going to get straight into the video, but uh, I want to say this before I play the video. Someone sent me the video, and um, I, was, I was shocked because it was random. I, that was somebody I least expected because, you know, I followed uh, Young Farrell. I would say, you know, I got into Young Farrell about a year ago. You know, I loved his energy. You know, I loved uh, him sticking up for, for what's right. You know, I loved him uh, exposing the government. You know, but I knew it was something off about the dude, you know, because he was overly confident. And when somebody's overly confident, that's just a front or a facade. Deep down, that person is a very insecure person, but they have to, you know, present themselves as if they're so masculine, so confident. Because let's be real, confidence is, real confidence is silence. Confidence is not boastful, is not bragging, it's not, it's little of that. You know, it's people that are really confident are, are more reserved and laid back than someone that's just always, maybe that's his personality. He has aggressive personality. I get it. You know, someone is, is overly confident in themselves and, and has a huge ego. That's just a, a sign of insecurity. That means that person is very insecure. So they have to overcompensate by being extremely confident, extremely, uh, anything extreme is bad. That's what I learned in life. So when somebody is overly confident, you know, overly aggressive, overly alpha, because there's a balance in life, too much of anything is bad for you. So anyway, I'm gonna play the video and then we'll talk about it. Listen, we grown, we grown. If you wanna watch porn, I don't give a fuck. Listen here, porn is banned in our nation. You feel me, it's banned. Now, if you wanna do, if you wanna watch porn, you are only allowed to watch a grown man with another grown man or a grown woman with another grown woman. Everything else is prohibited, prohibited. Bondage porn, no. Kitty porn, no. you know you the fuck out of here. Ghetto gaggers, then y'all niggas better take that shit down now. Take that shit down now. And from this point in time on, any black woman that I see go on ghetto gaggers, bitch, you banned. So as you can see in the video, you know, he's basically saying, you know, watch gay porn. Like, I don't, I haven't seen the full video. So guys, if I'm wrong, correct me. If you have um, the full video and he was poking fun at somebody or he was making a joke, let me know, but he looks real serious in the video. And um, yeah, he was saying men watch gay porn and women, if you're not watching gay porn, that's not cool. Cause he looked he look dead serious, you know? And um, honestly, he looked out of it. He looked like he was high off something. You know, I'm just um, going by my evaluation of the video. So uh, young Pharaoh fans, don't attack me. You know, I'm a neutral party. I'm just somebody checking in, but I have to keep it real. It's funny. So um, yeah, man. And um, do just look, look off, you know? One thing I'm gonna say is this, never put your all into somebody, you know, we are all, we all are supporters of people. We all are fans of somebody or have been at one point. But the thing about this is you gotta be very careful what type of leaders you choose to represent you. Like I tell, I tell black people this all the time and this go for all people, especially black people from, uh, for all the trauma we, we go through here in America and, and always have been going through. Let me say this, the young, young people are very impressionable, you know, because young Pharaoh, he's a guy that comes from where we come from. He comes from a poor background, dysfunctional home. 
you know, like many blacks in this country. So when you see somebody you can relate to, you somebody that gained a little success and made it out where um, most of us didn't make it out from, we, we automatically gravitate towards that person because, you know, he's a hero in our eyes. You have to understand you can be a supporter of someone, but doesn't necessarily mean that you should trust them because honestly, we don't know who these people are. Just because we see them in a video, we see how they, you know, they talk a good one. But one thing is actions speak louder than words. What you do behind closed doors? What do you do when nobody's around? Are you that same individual? Do you keep those same morals? Do you have them same values, them same principles? Are you in, in a closet homosexual? Are you on some weirdo type of time? Are you really for your people? Are you scamming your people? Actions is what really makes a man. See, Malcolm X, he was straight action. And his talk backed it up. His talk backed it up. Marcus Garvey was straight action. His talk backed it up. The actions have to back it up first. You know, this is no disrespect to uh, young Pharaoh. If there's uh, a video out there that's debunking this, you know, go ahead, you know, show it. But uh, from what I've seen, you know, that's pretty much suspect, you know, and he needs to be questioned. He needs to come out and address that. But I heard he was going through some, some hard times right now, as far as baby mother, whatever situation. Stop putting your all into people because some of these people, they cannot be trusted. But what a lot of, what a lot of people do, especially in the conscious community, they speak truth to reel you in. They speak truth to, to capture you and, and make you a fan. But remember, that's just to bait you in. So when they use truth, that's just a tactic of theirs to get followers, to get loyal fans. But they know 90% um, of the time, they don't even live by their own codes. So don't let people reel you in with the truth because there's a lot of hypocrites out there. Yes, I'm not saying don't let somebody speak truth. Always let them speak truth. But what's more truthful is watching what they do and how they move. And it's a certain way a man's supposed to conduct himself. Because another thing about us Black people is that we work so hard trying to get out the hood, trying to be financially stable and, 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 and draw an income and have, have our families well off that we forget that just as much you need to put in work with your financial situation, you need to take care of your mental health just as much every day. Every day, just like you get up and exercise and go to the gym and go chase money, you need to be working on your mental health, especially where we come from. We come from traumatic situations. We come from dysfunctional homes. No father, no mother, or mother and father's crazy. Or, or grandmother's crazy, or a cousin or uncle, or pedophiles or child molesters. You have to get help. You have to tell yourself nice things. You have to educate yourself. You have to take care of your mental health because if you don't, when you get the money, when you get the power, when you get in a better situation, all your demons is gonna come out. You gotta be true to yourself. And this is what happens with a lot of black people. When you don't work on your mental health, then when you get money, people say money makes happiness, but if you don't know what to do, do with money, it can also lead to destruction. So it doesn't bring happiness, it, it brings better options. I don't know about the happiness part, because happiness is, is temporary. That's a temporary feeling. You know, when somebody born a billionaire, I'm sure money don't make him happy. Shit, other things make him happy. He might just want a, a, a normal life. But um, but anyway, let me know what y'all think about this video. It's your boy, Barry the Prince. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what y'all think. Peace.